A case that has baffled the public and police for several years. Ebby Stepik's disappearance ended four years ago when LRPD found Ebby's remains in a drain pipe 60 feet from where they found her car at the beginning of the investigation in 2015. Dr. Phil put a spotlight on the case today, interviewing several of her loved ones about what happened. And THV 11's Ashley Godwin shares bringing new possible outcomes to the investigation. Dr. Phil spoke to people who had never before gone on camera, including her boyfriend at the time. But the biggest shock to come out of this episode, the family says the Little Rock Police Department claims Ebby took her own life. The discovery of Ebby's body raised more questions than it answered. How did she get inside this drain pipe? In 2018, after two and a half years of searching for Ebby Stepik, LRPD went back to Shalomont Park in West Little Rock. That was where officers originally found her car when they began looking for her in 2015. They sent cameras down into the drain pipe, a location they said they previously searched, but this time they found her. Now, Ebby's mother, Lori Jernigan, says LRPD told her that Ebby put herself in the drain pipe. That's insane. That's when I just said, I'm done. I just closed the book on getting any more help with the Little Rock Police Department. Catherine Townsend, a private investigator, actually went down into the pipe where they found Ebby's body to test that theory. She would have had to lift this manhole cover herself, and this is hard. It's super heavy. Ebby's body was found down this drain pipe. She was over 70 feet in there. To demonstrate how absurd the idea is that she would have gone down there on her own, I'm actually gonna crawl down in there. It angles down in here, and it's so tight that if I go any farther, my arms, like, I'm not going to be able to get out of here. LRPD gave us a statement saying the case is still open and leads will continue to be investigated. And someone who has never spoken publicly about Ebby's disappearance, her then-boyfriend Eric. He says he saw her the night she disappeared. When she came to his house, she was upset, but not impaired. Eric, you said that when you did talk to Ebby, she was scared. She just wasn't her normal self. I mean, you knew Ebby, like you knew how yeah. happy of a person she was. Like, and it was just like she wasn't, it wasn't there anymore. Like that was gone. And it was like a, not even a sense of urgency, just like she knew that something was about to happen. Like she almost knew that she wasn't going to be okay. Later that night, when her family couldn't get in touch with her, he called her. And she answered for a second. That was the last time I talked to her. Eric believes it could have been a terrible accident with some of her friends. They might have gave her something and she had a bad reaction. And like they tried to, you know, leave and come back and realize she was gone. And I feel like that's honestly what happened. And like they probably put her down there. A new detective is on Ebby's case now. The former lead detective, Tommy Hudson, sent a statement to Dr. Phil saying he believes the case will be solved and there was someone with her when she was put in the drain pipe. He believes it was someone who lived in Little Rock.